Okay, this is part two. So, Peter tells Olivia about the whole thing, like, oh, I know why, why Walter's acting so strange around me lately. And then she she gets kind of like, like, she thinks that he knows about the Ultimate Universe thing, but he doesn't, and he tells her about the suicide thing. And then she's like, you know, Walter loves you very much. And then Walter comes in in that, like, moment or whatever. But as always, and, um, so Peter thinks the reason why Walter's dying is so weird is because he wants to complain about, uh, the suicide, but no, that's not it, Peter. You're from an alternate universe? Okay, anyway. So, uh, Newton goes to this bank, and one of the shapeshifters, the girl shapeshifter, actually, uh, she went to this guy named, um, McAllister, and she was like, Oh, could you show me where Franklin Street is or something like that? And he was like, oh, well, you turn this way and then yada, yada, yada. And then he's like, oh, let me write it down for you. So he goes up to her and she has this paper and then it has his face on it. Like, and then he's like, which obviously she heals him. Now she is McAllister or it. I don't know what to say. Probably an it. And they go to the, uh, so, okay. Newton's at the bank and she is McAllister. McAllister is a manager of the bank, so they go down into the bank vault, Newton and McAllister shapeshifter, and they, like, open this weird hole in the ground and, like, put a, like a, like a stick that, like, is flashing red into the ground, and then, um, yeah. And so Walter's back at the lab, well, they're all at the lab, and then he, um, figures out a way Sorry, I don't really know what this is saying, so I'm just going to read it. Maybe you guys are way smarter than me. To catalyze the embryo and momentarily bring the third shapeshifter back to life. Because he uses this other guy's body to... I don't know, it was weird. But, um... It is like... This part is so gross, I cannot even, like, put it into words. How disgusting it is. Because first, he, like... They're using, like, a lot of power on this thing. And he's telling Peter to turn up more. And the, the embryo thing, it's all dark, and it's, like, glowing, like, pulsing glowing. And then, like, suddenly it starts to, like, form into an actual, like, human-looking thing. Like, the- and it's all gooey, and it's, like, head, like, starts to, like, peel off, and it's, like, arms, and it's, like, so- I'm sorry, I'm saying, like, way too much, but it's so disgusting, I can't even, like- Oh, my God! And it comes into life, and it's just, like, lying there- and then they're like, uh, what do we do? And then suddenly, I don't know, did they put more power on? I don't know, but suddenly he's like, <gasps> and he's just like, screaming, we're like, ah! And I don't know how, like, uh, like, Anna Tor, but, like, Josh can, like, stand just, like, staring at that half. I mean, maybe they added more effects, so maybe he looked a little more normal, but that, that is some guts, man. Like, seriously. <sighs> This is, like, so gross. So, that was probably the grossest part of the whole show. I was probably, like, I was, like, sitting in, like, a field position on my couch. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's disgusting. Like, screaming. Uh, so, yeah. That happened. And then, um, after it went, <gasps> with this big gasp and scream or whatever, he said that, um, tells the team that, uh, the shapeshifter, this one that's talking right now, was supposed to rendezvous with Newton, and its intended target was a medical examiner named Daniel Verona. And then, um, Olivia was like, tomorrow at 3.31 p.m., what is going to happen? And he's like, I'm sorry. And then he dies and falls all limp, and it's, like, really gross. And, um, yeah. So, next part, uh, Newton, uh, goes to a payphone, and he, um, he, uh, he dials 911, and they're like, oh, 911, how many help He's like, oh my gosh, this guy near me, he's having a tard, he's having a heart attack, you've got, you've got to come right now. And so she's like, uh, okay, we'll be right, and then he's like, oh, what is your name, sir? And then he just hangs up, so Newton gets out of the telephone booth, and then eats this weird pill, and he's like, and then suddenly falls to the ground and actually starts having a heart attack? Well, I don't know if it's a real heart attack, a fake heart attack, I suppose, but he's probably not even human. I don't know what he is, but anyway, he's just having a heart attack, and all these people come over like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's having a heart attack, this man, oh my gosh, someone help him, call the police, yada yada yada. So, then, um, uh, he gets in a body bag, and then they roll him into the corpse room or whatever, a morgue, and, um, 
then he unzips the cord bag and he's like totally fine and then um he pulls out the red flashing light thingy stick and then puts it into the uh, floor again so then uh in another place across town or whatever there's a construction worker a uh, shapeshifter guy who puts a third stick flashing red thingy in the box of a telephone pole. So now you're starting to think like what are these weird things but you're going to find out. So at the lab uh, Walter is using these like a little toy car and like the I don't know stuff and to uh, to uh, show them like how uh, him and William Bell were able to um, get the car over to the alternate universe by making it vibrate at the proper frequency. And he says that um, Newton is maybe trying the same, trying to do the same thing by setting up three uh, carefully positioned harmonic rods throughout the city. That's there's remember there were three making a triangle where they put and then um, so anyway, so with two of the rod positions known, the more in the bank. Uh, Peter, he, he gets a map and then tries to find the last part of the portal. And so it's either on this other thing, I don't remember, or a bridge on Charles River. And Olivia knows that it's the bridge on Charles River because Walter told her in the episode of Peter, when he was telling the story, that the, uh, the water would, like, absorb all the excess energy from the alternate universe portal thingy thingy. So then she was like, oh, the water was over the excess energy. Right, Walter? And he's like, yes, that's correct. And stuff. So then, um, uh, yeah. So they go to the bridge, and, um, then there's a bunch of shapeshifters, and it's like this total badass scene. Like, it's awesome. We're all, like, shooting out with the shapeshifters, and, like, pow, and, well, you know what it sounds like. That was stupid. But they're just like all shooting that Olivia and Peter are behind this car and they're like trying to shoot the shapeshifters and then because she found out that the cops were shapeshifters because she was like, oh, FBI, we got to cross this bridge. And he's like, oh, I don't think you can do that. She's like, oh, wait, she says, now I'm FBI. And then um, he's like, oh, let me call the chief. And then she shoots him because she's like, they would never call the chief first or sergeant, I'm not sure. I'm not good at this stuff. So, yeah, so she knows it's them, and then they start shooting, and then yada yada, but then Walter, like, um, goes, gets into the van and starts, like, driving away onto the bridge, and they're like, oh my god, Walter! So then, uh, Peter's like, cover for me, Olivia, and then he runs off and then tries to get to the bridge, um, so Walter's preparing this pneumatic hammer that will nullify Newton's frequency, and then, um, but it's not working, and then Peter comes, and he's like, everyone's got to clear the area, clear the area, and then Olivia pulls Walter away, and then Peter starts working, and Newton is turning on the rod thingies, and then a shockwave rips across the Charles River. Yeah, it's like, boop, 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 boop. like the water's all rippling, like crazy stuff, and then, um, I don't really have any time left, so I have to go to part three now. Okay. Bye, guys.